Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, people of the internet. I am Lothans. Welcome to the channel. We are going to be checking out a uh, a solo queue game where I was actually duoed with a uh, teammate of mine. And um, uh, the reason I want to commentate this replay is pretty simple. Um, as you're going to see at the top of the screen here, the total team gold, we are the blue side, they are the red. Um, we're losing this game at, at, at all points throughout this replay. We're losing it bad. And there's, there's literally no chance that we win this game. Uh, but something weird happens right at the end, and I, I thought that was rather hilarious. So we're, we're kind of just going to let it run. I'm going to commentate throughout the whole thing and, and sort of give you a perspective of where I was at mentally, what we were thinking about. Uh, I am Dr. Mundo. I am this guy. And my partner here is in the jungle. Right there he is getting uh, invaded upon rather aggressively. So we're going to let the kind of the directed camera do most of the work here. And just kind of follow the action as wherever it wants to go for the time being. Um, as we look at the uh, the scoreboard down at the bottom, you see uh, we've got myself on Dr. Mundo, top lane versus a Nasus. We've got uh, my duo partner there playing Shivana against a Sejuani in the jungle. There you see her there. In the mid lane, of course, we have Echo on our side versus Rise. You see them on the screen right now. And uh, bot lane, well, good timing. All right, we see... Uh, we see Ash and Velkaz on our side, the AD carrying support. And on the enemy team, we have Aphelios and Galio. Pretty weird bot lane combo on both sides. Um, Galio, you know, was popular uh, a season or two back as support. Usually he's played in mid lane now to affect the side lanes a lot better from the support role. He can only really go mid if he wants to. Uh, when he turns six from the mid lane, he can obviously go in many different places. So now that we got that out of the way, we're just going to kind of see what's going on around the map. Because I was focused on my lane and my lane only, it's going to be interesting for me to see the other perspectives here. I've got Nasus kind of pushed in, uh, so I've got top lane priority. We have mid lane and bot lane priority, so there's nothing really much that our jungler can do right now. And, um, hmm. Yeah, it's just kind of weird. Um, uh, oh, they get Galio really, really low. Nice trading going on at the bot lane. And, uh, basically what I'm communicating with the jungler is, since we're on, we're on comms together, is I'm hard shoving the lane. There's no gank opportunity right now. But I'm getting it to crash. And, you know, my plan is crash the wave. Let Nasus push me back in. And we gank at that point. Uh, Echo flashes over the wall, gets flashed upon by Rise and killed by Rise. And so, uh, yeah, Shivana can't do much, gets rooted or gets stunned up by Sejuani and falls. So, very interesting turn of events there. So, we lost two people, they lost nothing in that exchange. We got the Scuttle Crab in the top side before that happened. So a little bit of vision for myself and the mid laner there. Um, and Nasus hurts, so I am definitely not winning the lane. Uh, I am winning in CS, uh, but I'm trying to go back here and he keeps uh, he keeps stopping me, so I just kind of stay. Uh, as far as the other lanes go, mid lane, the enemy team is winning in CS by far. You know, range versus melee matchup, you kind of expect something like that early on. Uh, our bot lane is winning by a lot already, so that's really, really good. And again, he's, he keeps stopping my recall, but that's okay. Is Oh, the Ash Arrow whiffs entirely. It's going, going, going. And actually, it's coming up here and still misses. It goes off the map. Perhaps we will see it again soon. And it looks like I had to pop my ultimate again after a... 
little battle with Nasus where he obviously won the trade. But again, still winning in CS by about 11 right now. Um, so it's 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 looking good for like farm for the for myself on Mundo, but in the end, um, oh, we got action by lane. Never mind. Aphelios is absolutely turning the tides back onto onto Shivana. Um, it is AP Shivana, by the way. And he does get the Aphelios before he goes down. Ash returns to the lane. It must have been shopping. Comes back. This should be a, an easy kill right here. Rise is coming in. But they, they could probably turn on Rise. Here, here we go. They're turning on Rise right now. Oh, Ash may be able to win this one if she turns on Rise hot and heavy. Oh, Echo is here. Echo the hero. Here he comes. He wants to get on the tank, but they are too fast. Rise flashed away, and Sejuani dashed with your Q. Oh, he's going in anyway. Gets the ignite, but he gets rooted up in the tower. Manages somehow to get his ultimate off and survive. Well done to Echo there. The timing was on his side. <laughs> and Aphelios is back in lane. Ash. Looking rather good. 2 1 and 2. And Velkos 2 2 and 2. So the bot lane for our side is doing rather well. Aphelios, the only one on their bot side with a kill. However, Rise is 3 0 and 1. Our mid, our mid laner is 1 1 and 0. Finally got on the board with that last uh, Ignite Tower Dive kill. And myself, I am 0 1 0 against a 0 0 1 Nasus. Again, Nasus doesn't really need kills. Um, neither does Mundo. To, uh, to fight later on in the game. Nasus does scale harder than pretty much any top lane champion, except perhaps Kale. And Shivana, of course, uh, 1, 2, and 0, her score, and Sejuani, 3, 2, and 3. So um, their side, mid, mid and jungle, are their fed team. It right, looks like a top lane gank coming in right now. I realize it just in time and flash away. Unfortunately, had to burn the flash there. Uh, Sejuani's ganks have a little tell, and you can see it when she's coming up towards someone. Her passive actually jumps onto them. And I, okay, so then I did probably the dumbest thing you could possibly do, which is walk <laughs> around this corner here trying to uh, to get a ward or I don't know what I was trying to do but it was really bad and really stupid oh Galileo's coming in mid as we saw as we said earlier that is the lane he can affect at level six from the support role and he does so successfully and Sejuani is there as well Shivana trying to hold them off so EP damage gets a little bit of poke down before the dragon form runs out Ash and Aphelios just staring at each other across the minion waves, wishing that they had a front line to engage for them. I think if Ash has ultimate in a 1v1 against Aphelios, she probably beats him. Uh, it does kind of depend on if he has certain weapons available to him. But I think in a, you know in a in a relative oh oh here we go, the Rift Scuttler. Oh, going down, going down hard, Shivana. Not having a good time. I'm forced to just run away. And they're gonna get that one for free and a kill on top of it. At this point, um, we're down you know almost three thousand gold. Actually, a little bit more than 3,000 3, gold, in fact. Um, and myself and Sijuani are, are pretty much thinking right now uh, we're, we're just going to lose the game. Oh, Velkaz gets a kill, but kills himself in the process. 
I'm still up here relatively low health after Nasus traded on me. And they're going to drop the Rift Scuttler mid. They do get the first tower of the game, I believe. Yes. And... Oh. And I just get smacked. Alright. <laughs> Echo's trying to clean up mid lane. He gets one kill after Shivana goes down. Cannot get the tank. And uh, topside, I just absolutely get thwacked by the Nasus yet again. So as far as gold goes, looks like um, our bot lane is still winning by far. So that's really good news. Their mid lane is like almost 2,000 gold ahead of our mid lane, which is terrible news. Topside, Nasus is beating me by uh, quite a bit. You know, uh, almost, yeah, it, it is 2,000. And the jungle, 2,000 again. So a lot of gold difference going on here. Uh, but our bot lane is hanging in there. That's the only reason we are still within 2,000 as a team to them, is our bot lane is ahead of their bot lane. And that's the only that's the only lane that is winning currently for our team. But overall, we are losing. Oh, the hard engage by Sijuani. The Ash Arrow misses because of the knockup from Velkaz. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm not sure if that's Velkaz's fault or Ash's fault. I think it's more Ash's fault. She just didn't understand where the character was going to get knocked to. Because on the Velkaz knockup, it actually it actually displaces them in a certain direction based on where they are in that knockup. And uh, Ryze just, wow, just melts Ash. And Nasus is bottom. I see this. I, I, I believe I do see this on the on the map. And I'm like, okay. I'm just going to hard shove top because they are all bot. Um, we're getting a little bit of return kills going on here. Um, Shivana gets one just there as Echo falls behind in this little little skirmish happening. And oh, goes a little bit too far. Here is a Nasus. Here is an Aphelios. And that is not the place you want to be as a low health Shivana. But I am still hard shoving top lane. It's really the only thing I could do. I do not believe I had teleport available at this time. No, I do not. And oh, Ash Arrow goes wide once again. That was a really long distance arrow. Uh, I did get a red buff steal here, looks like. So that's something, at least. On the other side of the map, we have some good things happening. Even though things, you know, terrible things are happening bot side. Uh, we did get a couple return kills, so it's not the end of the world at this time, but it really does feel, at this moment in time, it does feel like this game is getting out of control. And we're, we're you know, it feels like we're losing, we know we're behind, and it feels like it's just steamrolling out of control at this point. What I'm trying to do right now, while Echo gets aggressed upon, is hard up top again. I was running mid... I saw Nasus was still in the bot side jungle with his whole team, so I just teleported top lane, pushing on this tower. There's nothing I can do if I go back mid. I'm just going to be standing there throwing cleavers back and forth. And I'm fairly sure my team can, you know, as a four man, can stop them. And now they are hard running towards me. They are sprinting to stop me top lane, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. I absolutely... Wanted to waste their time, get them off of that mid lane, and looking at me instead. So it worked out that time. I have a sip of my my tea here. Very nice. All right, so Ryze gets away. I am big and beefy, so I'm running at the Aphelios. Get a cleaver down. Chunk his health bar, and he probably doesn't want any part of me at this point. Um, but again, Nasus, we see him pushing top back in the other way, so I have to respond. I have to start going up there right now. So you'll see me doing so here in just a moment uh, as my team comes mid to defend. Yeah, right here I start booking it back top lane to defend that tower. 
Ashen Velkos should be able to hold off most tower pushes just by themselves, unless it's a five stack and they tower dive them. They have enough wave clear between the two of them to, to really hold out. With Echo's Q as well, not much that uh, they can do to push us in, but um, they just, it's just really beefy characters all around. You know, they can, they can, they can really hard pressure us with their health bars and their resistances. And, you know, we have to spend a lot of time trying to whittle them down before we can counter engage and go back in. So here we are, we're just, um, it's kind of a lull state right now. There's no dragon, Baron's on the, on the table, but nobody really is going for it <clears throat> at the moment. And Nass is just, I mean, he is just a monster at this point. The only thing stopping him from completely running me down is my cleaver slow right now. And I just communicated this to Siobhan. I said, hey, listen, Nass has just used his ult. So did I. Um, so he's he's hard pushing. He's maybe gankable right now. Um, but he did inform me, hey, we, <laughs> we got a little stuff going on mid. He is coming over now, though. So... We're going to give it a shot, I believe, right now. We're going to give it a try. He, I think he wants to get his uh, his ultimate up first. Nasa just runs away. I think, okay, he's got a ward here somewhere. He does. It is on our blue buff. And everybody just kind of resets. Uh, the enemy team resets. Nasa goes back. Uh, nice ward um, from them to stop that recall. I don't think Velkaz ult was needed. I think he was a little bit... Um, oh wow, nice kill by Echo, but I think Vilkos a little bit, um, that was a little hopeful to try to get a kill with just his ultimate, and now uh, Nasus is here, <laughs> Echo just got the kill with his Ignite, he does not have Ignite now, and this is a problem for Echo, he just runs off, that's good, but Nasus does get the tower. I am coming down at the moment. You see me just turn back on the minimap because I see my whole team is going down there to stop Nasus. So I don't need to be there. I'm going to go push mid out. We have dragon spawning here in just uh, uh, four seconds. And four people are beating on Nasus, and he is winning this fight. He is almost winning that fight all by himself. Ryze comes in, cleans up a kill on Ash, and now... Our jungler and our mid laner are way too low to fight. We don't have an AD carry alive. I'm coming down right now. I'm running through the jungle, I'm running through the river, trying to get there in time, but it's not going to be in time. And you see, I just run in an int right now. Rise is still here. I'm trying to get somewhere to help out, but it's just there's too many beefy boys with too much CC stopping me from getting to the rise. I almost get him right there, but then nope. Sejuani so says, You are now stunned. Goodbye. Very unfortunate timing. Um, I was really trying to get there. I was really trying to get there. I had teleport, but I was so close. I didn't think I needed to use it. And um, maybe I did. Maybe we should have just not taken the fight. Either way, we're down by uh, 5,000 gold right now as a team. So it's just, it's just coming to the point where... It's really out of control. And immediately, you see how confident they are. They just they just immediately aggress on Echo. Echo does get the trade back kill. And if he can survive this by flipping over that wall with his uh, E, that'll be amazing. Great job by Echo there, actually, to get out of that. Very bad situation. All right, let's look at some items here. So Sejuani on the enemy team already has, um, what is this thing? <laughs> the adaptive helm. I was going to say that, but I didn't uh, didn't want to miss, miss say it. He's got Cinderhawk on his jungle item. Dead Man's Plate just got purchased and Mercury Treads. This is a super tank, 7-2-7 seven, seven, with a 400 gold bounty. And we got a little bit of action going on here. Let's check it out. I am caught. I flash over the wall. The team is over the other side, and I, I keep saying I think we can win this. I think we can win this fight. I'm trying to keep Rise off the back line. We do so. Echo goes in hard. Echo gets the kill. And that is a team fight win 
for the blue side, shockingly. We got a Nash arrow coming in here instantly. Uh, QSS to where cleansed away. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's got cleanse. I was going to say that I don't see any Mikhail's on Galio, so he must have cleanse. He does not have QSS. Ash almost gets over the wall, but is going to go down here for sure. Echo goes back in, and he gets instantly popped. Um, a little bit of an over chase there. Uh, we got a little bit excited. That's our first team fight victory, the first time we actually pushed them back as a 5v5 unit. I don't think Nasus. Yeah, I think Nasus was there, actually. But we got a little bit excited after the fact. And we should have just walked away with our heads high and said, you know what, we can beat them. That's fine. Uh, but we went a little bit crazy. And that's eh, sometimes it happens. Get a little bit excited. Um, so right now, there's no big objective aside from Baron on the map. Dragon's two and a half minutes away. Uh, Sejuani is just super, super tanky. And Shivana is so far behind right now. Having a lot of trouble uh, just surviving. And uh, really, if, if Sejuani comes into Shivana's jungle and just wants to push her around, there's not much she can do about it. You know, with the low health bar. And um, he, he's got the AP damage going. Um, but there's only like two abilities he can use to fight at this point. So, very unfortunate situation we are in. It looks... It looks terrible. It really does, and it is. We're on the back foot for sure, and it's clear. Uh, we see Velkos here getting aggressed upon. He does a great job to, of knocking the Sivani up, getting out of that bad situation. But it's pretty clear that their next their next goal is going to be Baron. They keep hovering around mid lane and top lane. I'm trying to be on the opposite side of the map. You see the Mundo icon at the very bottom of your bottom right of your screen. As far bottom right as you can go. I'm trying to get their attention to me, but they're they're gonna start up the Baron now. 27 and a half minutes in. Um, we are pinging, we don't know where they are. Um, obviously, now we find out they are at the Baron, they just took it. Echo is trying to get away. He is stunned up. Three people get stunned up by Galio. But uh, somehow they don't take very much damage right there. I thought for sure they were going to go down. Uh, Manassas comes down bottom to answer me after they get the Baron. And there's not much I can do at that point to, to stop him from just running at me. So I have to leave. Looks like they're coming to, uh, to chase me, which they are. Yep, I pop the ult. I try to get the Skull Crab. I think I get it. Yep. And I'm just going to keep running. I think I get out of this one. Yeah, the team shows up. I get out because they all show up and just start blowing people up. Oh, no, I don't survive. I thought I did. And Rise turns the... <laughs> Rise was down here just blowing people up over that wall. Whew. That is scary amounts of mid lane damage coming out of this guy. He's 11, 3, and 5. A 300 gold bounty. He's got 1, 2, 3... Full completed items plus his sorcery boots. Rise is a scary individual at this point. Uh, if we let him free fire on a group, then there's really no chance. Uh, Sejuani also 9 2 and 9. 600 gold bounty. Um, hasn't bought yet, I don't think, in a very long time. Got the same items she had in uh, probably about 5 to 10 minutes ago. Nass is 3, 2, and 5. He's not doing great, but he's not doing bad. And he's, he's got two and a half items completed. He's got his Trinity Force. He's got the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Death Dance there and some Merc Treads. I've got one. I've got one full item and then like three halves of an item going on. So I've got mostly components with a... Um, with some Merc Treads, 0, 5, and 2. I am feeding like crazy, but my farm is good. My CS is keeping me in the game as far as money goes, for the most part. Uh, Mundo's items are pretty pretty inexpensive. You know, he's a tank. That's all he builds, so... It's not the end of the world for me not to have the most money in the game. But here comes Nasus again. He finds me. They still have the Baron buff for... Uh, maybe another 30 seconds or so.
Something like that. Velkov's really good at keeping that poke up. Um, obviously a San Francisco Giants fan. Oh! And Echo learns now that he is in trouble. He really... Oh! And the Flash? Is this going to get him out? I don't believe so. Nope. He is going down to the rise. And uh, Velkaz and Ash are trying to keep him off of our mid lane. Inhibitor, which is exposed at the moment. I'm still trying to push that top wave. Here comes a teleport. I think it's probably Nasus, but uh, nope, it is Rise. So we know Nasus is running around uh, hunting our team right now. And I'm trying to come back in for a flank, I'm trying to get at him. Oh, here comes the hard engage on Ash. She is most certainly going to go down. There it is. They should have given that to the Aphelios, who is having a horrendous game. 3, 6, and 10. He's got two completed items versus Ash's two and three quarters of an item. Two and two components, actually. She go out of QSS. So Aphelios is their weak link right now. But they're most certainly going to get this inhibitor. Nothing that we can do about it. Um... Yep. And I think at that point, you, you saw me run in bot lane as fast as I could go, just sprinting down there. I knew that inhibitor was gone. There was no point in me staying there trying to defend it with my team. But now, they're all coming for me. I don't see it coming. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this one, but I'm, I'm going to try. And I think... Oh, the flash is used. Velkaz knock. I think I do get out of this because of Velkaz's poke. And he just, like, really saves me here. But now we can try to turn a little bit because the team is here. Aphelios is coming, but nobody, you know, he's he's not really that strong, so he's not really an issue. And we we just run him off, and that's that's a good sign. But right now, you look at the gold graph; um, it is eleven thousand gold that they are in the lead. Um, that is a, most of the time. That is an insurmountable lead. And I'm, I'm not trying to foreshadow anything here, okay? Because we... It, it's not like we're going to turn this game around and, and, and like, just go nuts, right? We're, we're not going to win a team fight and just go crazy. It's just not going to happen. They're so far ahead in gold and items. Uh, the only one who is on our level of gold and items is Aphelios. He's the only one we could probably fight in like a 1v1 situation because he's not he doesn't have a lot of CS he doesn't have a lot of kills he doesn't have a lot of money compared to Ash Ash is beating him in money by a considerable amount about a thousand so and you know so oh oh my god <laughs> Ash realizes at the very last second the rise is going to absolutely melt her Echo tries to go in and do something, but he is melted as well. And this looks like the end, right? It's, this looks like it's it's over. They're pushing down mid lane. They have the inhibitor down. Uh, Baron's alive. Dragon spawning in 15 seconds. This would they have they're they're on soul point for ocean soul, and if they get four ocean dragons plus soul, they're they're just going to regen so much. So it's it's unbelievable. 34 minutes pass. Uh, Dragon is being taken currently by Sejuani. We do not seem to care. So this is going to be a an ocean soul for them. Yep, pretty simple. So now we have a serious problem. We have a very serious problem. Um, Ashero comes in and I'm like, okay, I'll get a little bit more return damage. I'm still, I'm super tanky right now. Like I am, I am full blown Mundo right now. It's very hard to kill me. But they do have Ocean Soul. They are regenning. So all of the damage we just put on them, it doesn't really matter. Because they're just going to regen it back much faster than a Mundo can. Here they come in the base. They're going to try to full blown win the game right now. With that Ocean Soul in play, uh, they have not taken that second Baron.
35 minutes into the game, um, and it, it's looking bleak. Right now, um, uh, Shivana and I are basically thinking this one's over. There's been a few surrender votes that have failed at this point, I, I would like to point out. Um, my, my, my partner there wanted out of the game. He wanted it to be over, but I kept seeing these little signs that we, we could fight a little bit and it's like, okay, we can, we can kind of fight them. I know we're losing bad and it looks terrible. We can kind of fight him, right? And here we're going after the Nasus, who is literally a raid boss at this point. And he, like what? Once, as long as he is attacking me, I can tank him. But he is going after Sejuani, and here we go. Ash shows up, gets the slows down. Galio is going to come in. But it doesn't matter at this point. Nasus is dead, so their raid boss is gone. They get a big shutdown bot lane on the rise. And we're going to take out the Galio as well. Now, things have changed. Right? And they're going after the second Baron of the game. Our middle inhibitor just came back up. They get the second Baron of the game, and I'm like, oh, crap, okay. What do we do now? Um... I guess we just have to defend. And uh, Sejuani's here. And I don't have ult. So I'm dead. <laughs> Very unfortunate. I shouldn't have been there. What's really super unfortunate about that is I just took our blue buff. For no apparent reason. I just took it. And immediately gave it to enemy team Sujuani. So she can comfortably give her blue buff to, say, Rise now. And uh, they both have it. So at the moment, things are looking really bad. They have Baron again. Obviously, it's super terrible. I mean, it's 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 we're, we came back a little bit. It's like 8,000 gold now. They were down 8,500, something like that. So it's not like almost 11,000 like it was. But uh, at the same time, it's only because we got those big shutdowns. We killed Nasus. We killed Galio. They killed Rise bot lane. Um, but I think it. I think the kill went on Velkaz for the Rise shutdown. So not the best thing in the world. And I think at this point, we're starting to notice that um, the itemization of our Ash is a little bit sketchy. She has a full-blown... Um, Mercurial Scimitar. And we're trying to figure out why, you know, why she didn't just get the QSS and hold the QSS until she got more damage, like in Infinity Edge, perhaps. Um, but she went ahead and completed this. We're a little, we're a little concerned about the the mental health of Ash at this point, but uh, you know, it is what it is. We're just going to keep plugging away, trying our best as we always do. Uh, Echo's trying to split top lane. NASA shows up, and that means he can no longer do that. Um, really, nobody can can one v one the Nasus at this point. He's just too big. I am, I'm, I'm super tanky, but there's really nothing that I can do about it. Like you see there, there's four people beating on me, and in my Mundo alt, I can still out tank and out sustain their their damage without Nasus there. But they do get the inhibitor. Nasus is on our mid inhibitor, so there's two inhibs down. Things are looking really, really bad now, and this is one of those it's just kind of over moments. But we do get a kill on the rise. Echo comes in and gets an amazing kill there. And now we're just trying to hold off the push. But without the rise there, they can't really go all in. Um, and with Ash. If we get a slow on somebody, we can really run this down. So here we go. And I'm I'm screaming like, is this the moment? Is this it? This is the comeback. We can we can end it here. And and of course, we, you know, we have none of the mid inhibitors or mid towers down, so not realistic that we <laughs> that we can actually win the game, but I'm like, oh, I'm gonna tank every turret, let's go. And this is one is there. 
Unfortunately, Shivani is there. I'm trying to block everything so Shivana lives. Um, but they're, so, I mean, look, they're so tanky. Shivani is so rich. Bought all the items she ever wanted. I'm trying to just be the front and, and hold them off. We finally get the kill. Velkaz gets it. Again, unfortunate. Everything keeps going on him, but, you know, it's better than them living, I guess. So now it is Elder Dragon time. Uh, this is our one and only win condition now is get Elder Dragon and Ace their team. So here we are. We are trying. We're trying our best. I'm tanking it up. Ash is going crazy. Here comes Galio. Here comes Galio. I am ignoring Galio. <laughs> and I'm like, we have to get this. We have to get this. We get it. Oh, and immediately. Immediately Galio gets blown up. And now Ryze is trying to win the game. He's going to get the... Oh, he gets our last defensive turret at the Nexus. We're stuck here, but Echo going in. Echo gets the execute. Oh. And Nasus shows up and just wipes our team, even with Elder Dragon. So our Nexus is like one Nasus Q away from dead, right? We have no more defensive turrets except for the top lane. And Baron's about to spawn in 50 seconds. We have Elder Dragon. I'm saying to my Shivana, we can fight them at the Baron. Right? Because we have Elder, Elder Dragon still going to be on us. When the Baron spawns, we can go there. We can fight. We can win. Um, Echo's drawing a lot of pressure. Mid lane. He's also... Oh, that was a good stun. Get some good damage on, and he doesn't really take any retaliation back. Uh, so what I'm trying to do right now, in my mind is, I got to push top lane out. It's our only good lane left, and that's where they're going to want to go. <clears throat> the hard shove because we don't have a mid or bot inhibitor, so those lanes are going to shove on their own. But they are shoving mid and bot, whatever. Um, but my mind is push top out as far as I can, and now we see Nasus at the Baron. Okay, Nasus is at the Baron. I run in, drop a ward. Because right now I have teleport. Siobhan is here. So I want to go shopping. I want to go buy. I have teleport. We see Nasus start it back up. Okay. So now the big brain kicks in. We're like, okay, I've got a ward there. I'm going to go buy an item. I'm going to teleport back in. We're going to kill Nasus at the Baron. And here comes the teleport. Here it is. All right. So Nasus just ran away. He comes back. Nasus is coming back in. He wants to fight us off of it, but I am too beefy at this point. He cannot kill me. And with Shivana here, we just tear him up with the Elder Dragon execute as well. Here it is. The Baron take. Our team has to hold off right here. They have to hold off. We're going to get the Baron if they can hold. Uh, the enemy team out of our base. Baron's going down 3,500 HP, 2,400, 1,000. There it is. We take the Baron. Okay, so. Now, what can we get done here? I don't know. Um, but we, we have the Baron so we can stall out. We can stall out. And maybe just maybe get a tower or two and get some money in our pocket so right now we're down by 2500 gold a far cry from 11,000 that it was uh like 10 minutes ago so we've made a massive comeback as a group the gold is more even and the later the game goes the less the gold matters anyway but that's a big deal and we now have the baron buff and the Elder's fallen off at this point. We no longer have that. But at the same time, things are looking up. It's, it's weird. doesn't make any sense. We should not be in this position at this point. The enemy team has obviously made some major mistakes. Um, but we have also made some pretty good plays, like the Baron play there. Uh, I think that is a pretty big turning point. And so I'm going to try to... Uh, 
get this uh, bottom tower, but it doesn't work. Galio shows up. And Sejuani shows up. So I'm saying, hey, I got two here. You guys can do whatever. Now I see Aphelios. I've got three here. You guys can do whatever you want to do. And now we're going to turn. Giovanna's here. We're turning on him. We're going. Ashero comes in. Galio is totally screwed. Very well done. And I flash in on the Aphelios. Okay, Nasus is here. I got to chase off everybody else so they can fight Nasus without anyone helping them. Um, I'm doing that. Nasus is, is almost winning the game, but Ash can kite him forever. Well done. All right. So now they only have one person left alive. Their jungler. This is Juani. So we're in a tower dive. I'm tanking the tower up. I'm Mundo. I don't care about towers. Let's go. Ash is going to take this one down. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Ash takes that one down. And I'm screaming at this point on comms. We're actually going to win this game. How is this even possible? Why is this happening? We don't know. But here it is. The ending of the game. The most insane, stressful, crazy game I've ever been a part of. Um, there's only one in my, in my League of Legends memory bank that I can think of that was more wild than this. And that was probably season three or four, a long, long time ago, many years ago, in a ranked game. Um, I think we had a a Ramus and a Galio and and like Rise and somebody else and somebody else and one of our people like quit the game early on, so it was like a four v five the whole game. And since we had a Galio, the original Galio, and a Ramus, and the original Rise, who could point-click stun everybody, um, they couldn't push us past our inhibitor turrets. Because if they got anywhere near one of our turrets, Galio would flash taunt them, Ramus would taunt them, Rise would blow them up, and then and we actually won the game as well in a 4v5. That's the only thing similar to this game that I can think of in my my own personal memory of this game but I uh, hope you enjoyed it I certainly was very confused as to the outcome of this one but hey um, it is what it is and it just goes to show you know you, you don't always have to surrender when things look bad the enemy team can throw the game like they did here obviously they threw pretty hard so don't give up keep plugging away and there you go